Hey everybody, I'm Bert from The Used. You've sent in some questions you'd like Taking Back Sunday to answer, and we're here on Pure Volume, about to get into it. How are you guys? Good, great. That's not one of the questions from the kids. Well, I no. shouldn't answer. But I wanted to know how you are. Oh, well then I'm glad I answered. So good. Really? I'm so good. So oh. good? Yes. It's Couldn't exciting. Be better. Here we go! I'm nervous, I'm nervous. All right, um, Dylan Baker. Dylan Baker. He, uh, he ain't no faker. He wants to know, I've been a fan for over a decade. Thank you, Dylan Baker. There's one question I've always wanted to ask you. What does the third vocal track at the end of Your So Last Summer say? Not the maybe I should hate you for this, and not the if only you knew half as much as you pretend to, but the other one hidden deep in the background. Yeah. He's tried everything. He can't fucking figure it out. Dude, do you know? He didn't say fuck. No, well, no, I know there's a third one. I don't remember what it was. I forgot there was a third one. Yeah, I'd have to go back and listen to it. So, Dylan Baker, I'll get, I'll get back to you. <laughs> I seriously don't. Sorry, that. sorry, I'll get Dylan. back to you on, with that one. We will, they will. They'll tweet it, they'll Facebook it, they'll Instagram it, they'll tumble it. Yeah. It'll be in your, it'll be in your uh, inbox. Yeah. <laughs> Haiti, I'm oh, sorry, Hadley Simmons, or Simons, <clears throat> asks, are there any songs you wish you could play more often, but don't, because the crowd tends to not get into it? Well, yes, actually. There's a song we have called El Paso. And I love we, that song, well, actually. I love that song. Okay, well, you're Thank the you. seventh person <laughs> that likes it because there's all of us in the band, Jillian and you, that are the only sick. people that like that, that song. Oh, and don't then, forget Mark's brother. Oh, <laughs> okay, eight. so eight people. There's eight people. My that wife like likes that, that song. song, too, so nine. Oh, nine. I'm getting there. Oh, man, the list is going. But so, and we tried, man. We tried opening with that song for like two years. And everybody would just look at us like, we don't like this song. That's weird. That song's so heavy and dope. That song's a great song. That's yeah, what I think. It. Yeah. I don't know. We, we love it. Nobody get it together, else. fans. <laughs> 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 All right, Jesse Bandy asks, I have a Taking Back Sunday tattoo, and it means so much to me, but I know there are plenty of others out there with them. So my question is, what's your favorite fan tattoo, and why? Hmm. Um... Everyone is pretty, pretty incredible, you know, that someone would, would uh, like connect with what you're doing like on that level. I have some band tattoos, you know, and, and then I know what they mean to me. So, so to have, yeah, to, to just know that someone, I mean, um, felt what we were doing that strongly is cool. So I'm going to say I don't have one favorite one. I think they're all fantastic. What about your band tattoos? What's one that means a lot to you? Well, I have a lifetime tattoo um, that I got. Uh, it was my first job stopper, yeah, like yes. below the elbow. Yeah, yeah. And uh, um, it's from the song called Knives, Bats, New Tats. Great song. Um, Dustin Taylor Washburn, or DTW. Good, good name. Yeah. Wants to know, have you guys ever considered playing a smaller venue tour? Every tour we do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, well... It's funny because we were actually just talking about that last night. <clears throat> we want to do, yes, a smaller run and just play the new record front to back on the smaller run. Um, I'll be there. So. I'd fly from Australia to see that. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> I would. No, you wouldn't. If I had to do stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. Okay, if I I'll happen be, to be in the same I'll city. Be. Where you guys were doing it. Well, I would definitely stream it live, though. <laughs> you guys were playing. I love your Fool Me record. It's great. Okay, Kale George. Kale? That's a great name, too. So healthy. What's your favorite album of all time? Non-TBS. Oh, oh. I was about to say Happiness Is. <laughs> that's what I was going to say, man. Poof, <laughs> man, that's a tough one. Yeah, very yeah of, tough. of all time. There's only a few records made. Yeah, so it should be easy to pick. You got like five to choose from. You got a couple. Yeah, yeah it, there's, there's, we have a lot of favorite records. I like, think as a band, like our go-to, uh, like on the bus, 
if we can ever get the television off, which is normally, it's really hard to get the television off. Kill your on TV, our bus. kids. But uh, and we just listen to, and we're just listening to records. We typically we either go for Beatles or Tom Petty. So that's the same with my band. Yeah, one hundred percent. We we are go to Tom Petty. Well, yeah, it's just, very reliable. It's uh, hard for anyone to argue with that. I feel like everyone's got to get on board. Favorite Beatles sure. record? Well, I I prefer Let It Be, but <laughs> Mark, our drummer, lo loves Abbey Road. So. Yeah. What about you at home, kids? <laughs> <laughs> What about you, favorite Beatles record? I'm starting to, to come around to uh, Rubber Soul. It used to be Abbey Road, yeah. but I'm starting to come around. Rubber Soul. I feel like they really nailed it with that one. Nice. It's pretty good. They did pretty good. <laughs> they did all right. They, do, they, do, they did all right. They, well, I think they have a bright future, mm -hmm. that band, the Beatles. Wrong Beatle died every time is what I say. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm a White That's Album hard. Disc That's 2 dark. kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean... No, 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 no. Like the weird John Lennon uh -huh. stuff. John Lennon was the Beatles, though, wasn't he? Oh, was he? Oh, well, where's Ringo? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nicholas Finnegan asks a question that you've probably never been asked before. Oh yeah. Where'd you get the name? It's <laughs> <laughs> we're not making fun of you, Nicholas. It's just you could probably Google that. <laughs> There, well, our, um, the, the band, Eddie, our guitar player, named the band, um, and he named it after, uh, there was this band on, in New York <laughs> called The Waiting Process, and they had a song called Taking Back Sunday, and it was about, they all grew up going to these matinee shows at CBGB's every, every Sunday, and, uh, and, but as everyone was getting older, Rest and, in peace. And, and, <laughs> and like more responsibilities and things, less people... <clears throat> The groups got smaller and smaller of the of the folks that would go to these Sunday matinee shows. All right, and then so it was just kind of an uh, and uh, a, a a nod, if you will, uh, to those days. Yeah, for him, I like that. That's so that's where the band name came from. I didn't know that's what the song was about until just now. Oh yeah, yeah, just knew it was a song. There's we used to tell people that it was the name of a, a Smith's B side. Yeah. And then people would be like, that is not Smith's pizza. And, <laughs> and, uh, and we'd be like, yes, it is. And, and then so they'd go looking for it. And anyways, it was mean. That's amazing. <laughs> well, that's cool. Kind of speaks to the power of the enthusiasm for music. Mm, yes. I like that.